Hello there, the angel from my nightmare, the shadow in the background of the morgue. I mean, um, hey there chameleons. Is Camille, what up? This is a makeup tutorial based on what I wore to see Blink-182 when I saw them in Hartford the other day. I know I look like an alien, but that's what I was going for. I love concert makeup because it's just so fun and you can get away with whatever. <laughs> So I'm going to show you guys how I did my makeup before getting lit with some punk rockers. So first I'm going to use a face primer because I'm trying to get my life in order. Then I went in with some orange concealer so I could negate some of the darkness in my skin. And now I'm putting foundation on top of that, that's my actual skin color. This makes it a lot easier to cover hyperpigmentation, especially if you have dark or medium skin like mine. Now I'm using my Artiste brush, which looks like a spoon, as Leah always says. But I think it just looks like a hairbrush that people with straight hair use. Like one of those nice and fluffy ones. But either way, it works really well on smoothing out your foundation and making your skin look really good. Now going in with some concealer, I'm just concealing things, as you do with concealer. And I'm using the same brush to blend it out. Just pressing very lightly. You have to press very lightly with this brush. And it just does its magic. Setting that with some banana powder. Always gotta put those nanners on. And now I wanna just sculpt out my face and just, you know, look like a real alien. Get all of those cheekbones popping, those curves of your chin, your jawline, your nose, everything. Because why not? How often do you get to see a band that's been broken up forever get back together and perform with other bands that you didn't even know were going to be there? Like All Time Low and A Day to Remember? That was kind of cool. Like I had no idea they were going to show up, but they did. But yeah, just blend that stuff into your face and set it for good reason. Now I'm going to go in with this cute cargo blush in Bali, which just looks really good on my skin and doesn't make me look too crazy with the extra color. Highlighting is necessary, of course. This is a concert, so you should over highlight pretty much. Now I'm using some concealer to sculpt up my brows to make them very fleeky. You want them to be like expressive, like you want your eyebrows to say a story for you. You want your eyebrows to tell everyone why you're at the concert without having to even open your mouth. That's how expressive you want them to be. So if you have a really clean brow, it's going to do all of that for you. And then of course just fill them in, like you do. Brush them out, as usual. And now we're priming. Just prime everything. We're going to be prepped and primed for this concert. <laughs> This cargo palette is really great for summer colors, so I decided to use it and put one of the browns in my crease as a transition color first, and I'm blending that out with my fluffy brush. Now I'm using a kind of rosy color because she left me roses by the stairs. Surprises let me know she cares. Say it ain't so if I'm wrong, but this color looks really good on my lids. Now I'm just adding a little bit more definition to the outer corner with this darker brown, and this is just going to give my eyes more of a 3D effect. Then blend and highlight, and do all of the things that you should be doing. I'm doing eyeliner on the bottom because I want the bottom to really stand out, and it's a good way to get the silver to stand out when you first put on black. I'm using a silver from ColourPop, and then a little tiny brush to put the silver eyeshadow on my lower lash line. But then after I do that, I'm also going to use it to set the black liner. And now I'm going to step it up a notch further with some lash glue and some silver foil. So it's like gold leaf, except it's silver leaf, pretty much. Um, I got this at a nail supply shop. It's linked down below, like all the other products I'm using. But it is the thinnest material you can use. It's super thin, you can hardly even feel it when you're holding. And you can just attach it to your face using lash glue like this and it will stick on and it will be lit and it will make you look like an alien ready to party. So that's why I did it and it turned out really well. So Blink-182 is really good with their lines. They have great lyrics. So now I'm going to line my lashes, which has nothing to do with what I said, but you know I'm trying. Okay, that was sad. Almost as sad as Adam's song. <laughs> 
Now I'm using my Ardell 113s because they are crazy and fluffy. And as you can see, they look very dramatic, which is what I was going for. Now I'm putting mascara on the lower lashes because I already did the top and I just want the lashes at the bottom to have a little bit of definition. It's in the details, guys. It's all the small things that matter. Adding inner corner highlight, as usual. And let's use a setting spray because we want to make this night last forever. Now we're going to go in with some green lipstick, and this is from ColourPop. This is actually their lip gloss kind of thing, but it looks like a lipstick. It's very pigmented, and it just looks the same as Dr. M, but with gloss instead. But I wanted to use it for the first time, so I decided why not use it today. Now that's the finished product. Girl, please don't look at me with those eyes. Please don't hint that you're capable of lies. I dread the thought of our very first kiss. Okay, I'm sorry. So I have a quick question for you guys. Do you like my stupid hair? And could you guess that I didn't know what to wear? Anyways, that's it for the tutorial. Um, just wanted to say that I miss you guys. But I'll be posting more videos soon. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel as well as my vlog channel. I vlog on every day and my cooking channel, which are linked in the description box down below with all my other social media. And if you guys ever saw Blink-182, comment down below what it was like and what you wore because I want to know. And would you wear this to see Blink-182 or are you a normal person? Anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you chameleons in the next video. Kisses. Mwah.